how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the first time you've been here, welcome. Um, if this is the first time you've been here, then this is definitely not um, the usual. I just wanted to come on here and do an intro. This intro is like kind of totally separate from when I filmed the rest of the video. I really just wanted to come on here and explain myself. So this video, like I said, is not kind of like the typical around here. So basically I kind of wanted to just vlog. And I start this video sitting down in this exact spot actually. And this was kind of like, honestly, I don't even know why I filmed this, okay? Basically, I think I was just like kind of wanting to vent. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a, you know, I'm gonna vlog. And I think vlogging, you know, includes part of your life. And I think I was just trying to explain that I was gonna get a dog. Um, and it got into all this thing about what was going on and my feelings and whatever. And then I wanted to vlog me actually like meeting the dog and I didn't get a chance to just basically nothing went according to plan in this video and honest to god I was not gonna upload it I was just gonna be like this was like a waste of time basically I thought like I was gonna have all this really cute footage of like me meeting this dog and like everything was great and it just like didn't happen that way but i am choosing to upload this obviously just because i was watching it back and it was just it was making me emotional um obviously i have a dog now i ended up getting that dog that i met and even just after a couple weeks of having her and like looking back and looking at this footage, like I forgot. <laughs> I truly was like so sad right before I got her because all these things like had happened at once. Everything is like okay now. And on top of that, obviously, like I have my dog and that makes everything okay. But I just wanted to let you guys know, like this is not a good video. This is probably not gonna be super entertaining. This is mostly just me sitting down and talking about my feelings and what I'm going to do and nothing of me actually doing it. Again, I really just wanted to upload this like for me because I, again, like I felt emotional as I was watching it again, like even though it was only like a month ago, but putting me back in that place where I was like so sad, I don't know. I'm just gonna upload this for me so I have it for my memory. Um, if you watch this and you're like, this is the most boring video ever, don't give it a thumbs down. And like, you should still come back for <laughs> future videos because again, this just like isn't the norm. But I just want this for my memory. So I just wanted to kind of put that disclaimer in the video. I don't want this to be like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be such an exciting video of her getting a dog, but it's not. I will at the very end include, I did just kind of like selfie film me meeting her on my phone. Um, I'll include that at the end and like her meeting my brother and maybe like a couple other clips of her just so you guys can like still see it if you want. Just wanted to give that little intro. Again, don't watch it if you don't want to. I, don't, I won't be offended. I'll be offended if you come at me though because I warned you, okay? I warned you. So if you do care, about like my feelings and stuff like that, <laughs> then stick around um, if you want to watch it. I hope you enjoy it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and let this video roll, but I will see you guys in my next video. Should be soon for the uh, regular scheduled programming, regular beauty videos. We're gonna do some fashion soon, so stick around. Hey guys, so I thought I would do just like a little bit of a story time. I'm sorry if the camera is crooked. Um, just like a little story time. Um, just because I posted on Friday on Instagram, I'm like, I'm so excited for this weekend. I'm so excited for this week and um, excited for next weekend. And just like, like I had so many good things going on, which like I do and I'm really excited about it. Um, and then I posted on like Sunday, like, I have so many bad things coming with the good. And I feel like, okay, maybe it's a little dramatic. 
I don't have anything super, super bad and super dramatic happening in my life right now. I'm, everything's fine for the most part, like for me at least. So I'm sorry, I feel like I'm very, I'm very, I can't sit still right now. I just had two cookies, three cookies, two and a half cookies, way too fast. So, and I like keep touching my hair. Okay, relax. So basically, well, let me just start by saying that ever since, um, basically ever since I bought this house, I have been like looking at dogs and which is no surprise. I feel like I'm always like looking at dogs anyways, just cause, but now it's like, I have this house and I feel like nobody can stop me from getting a dog, right? That's where my mindset's at, which is terrible. I'm, but it's the truth. I love animals and like, I'm obsessed with having a pet. And like right now I don't have a pet. And even though I've only lived here for like a month, it's still just like really sad to come home and like not have a pet. Okay, sorry about that. I basically just moved my camera so I wasn't like at the bottom of the frame anymore cause that drives me crazy because of my dad. <laughs> so anyways, so I've been like wanting a dog, right? And my mom and my dad are telling me like, don't get a dog, you're crazy. My boyfriend's like, um, I don't know if I want to do this. Basically, he never really like said no, but like he never said yes. So I just been like a thing that's on my mind. I've been looking and I figured like if there was a dog that I felt like I really wanted, I would just have to work to convince my boyfriend to like go meet it, right? So that's where that's not really like relative to the story, but then it kind of is. So. Basically, um, I was super excited because on Saturday um, we had my family over and my boyfriend's parents over and it was like the first time we like, really had anybody over. It was really the first time that they got to like meet and hang out. So I was really excited to have everybody over and like have my first dinner party and we like, you know, cooked and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I have I had a hamster and on Friday she was like normal, doing really well and running on her wheel and being normal and then on saturday like all day she was like shaking and looking like she was catching her breath we kept just being like oh my gosh i think lucy's dying so that was like a bummer for me and, and then something else happened it wasn't really anything that happened with me but it was just something that happened with someone i love and i think that like when someone you love has something bad happen to them. Like I almost feel like it's worse than having something bad happen to you because you just like feel so sorry. I'm not good at like talking to people or like trying to make them feel better. So I just like feel sad about it. Um, so yeah, so that sucked. Um, but we did have a great time on Saturday. On Sunday morning, my hamster did die. Um, so that sucked and I basically like <laughs> had somebody leave my life, I guess we'll say, like is not going to be in my life anymore. And they have a dog that I love very dearly <laughs> and I'm like crying about it. My boyfriend's making fun of me like, are you crying because of this dog or are you crying because of the person? And I'm like, I'm crying because of the dog. And he's laughing at me, but I'm like, okay, no, because I feel like what the person did was like crappy and like, I'm just mad at them. But like, I just feel like I'm, odds are pretty good that I'm never going to see this dog again. And, oh, that sucks. So I was so emotional on Sunday and it was just so funny because my boyfriend, and he said this to me like last week, he said like, do you want your birthday present now? And I was like, no, my birthday's on Tuesday. Like, I don't want my birthday present. I mean, like I do, like I want to know what it is, but like give it to me on my birthday, you know? But then he said this again last night, like, do you want your birthday present now? I said, you know, if you really want to give it to me, give it to me. But if you don't want to give it to me, I'm cool with waiting until Tuesday. Um, so he really wanted to give it to me on Sunday. And um, he said, okay, well, it's in my trunk. And I was like, okay. And so he goes, you have to close your eyes because it's not wrapped. And I said, okay. So I close my eyes and he walks in the house. You can see it, it's right here. <laughs> he walks in with a little dog bed and a toy and some bones and some little balls. 
I had to, and I cried again. I've been crying a lot. I'm PMSing pretty bad. Sorry if there's any boys watching. Why are you here anyway? Ooh, food. Did also mention this on Instagram that he did not buy me a dog, um, which so many people think that, and it's so funny when I saw the dog bed and stuff, I didn't even think that. Like, I know that he's smart enough to know not to go look at dogs or pick out a dog or whatever without me knowing the dog first or picking out the dog myself. So he's smart enough to know that it was just kind of like his cute way of telling me like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get a dog. So um, I'm basically on the hunt now for a dog. I'm really excited. Uh, I've been looking at dogs literally like I couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't focus. I've just been looking at dogs and contacting people and like looking up dog names, telling my mom about it and stuff. <laughs> That's a little update on me, um, I guess. I am just like super, I'm like a pretty emotional person and like on top of like the hormones and everything. And so I was really like bumming about this past weekend, but obviously like it's time to move on. Everything's gonna be okay. And I really do have like such an exciting week ahead of me tomorrow. Tuesday, September 25th is my birthday. I'm gonna be 23 tomorrow. So we go to Benihana every year for my birthday since I was like 15, I think. So I always, always look forward to that. We get the whole table of eight people, both my grandmas come and it's a lot of fun. Thursday, I'm getting dinner with a friend. Friday, I'm getting, I think lunch, then massages, and then I'm gonna hang out like with my best friend all day, and then another one of my best friends is joining us for dinner, we're all gonna go to dinner. And then on Saturday, me and Joey are having like our first real party at this house with our friends and stuff, so I'm just really excited for all of this. I figured I would, you know, start vlogging a little bit more. I love to vlog, I just, never do it and I could give you a list of reasons why but it comes down to I have no excuse um so I figured I'm gonna let you guys come into my life a little bit more I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I hope you guys enjoyed that little like story time hey everybody so today is an exciting day could potentially be one of the best days of my life feel that's dramatic at all actually it's just gonna be a great day anyway i've been waiting all week for today basically today me and my best friend are getting massages and then we had planned on like spending the day together and then going to dinner later tonight so i've just been really excited about that anyway who is not like excited about massages and spending the day with their best friend right we have been basically i guess preparing for a puppy um that was on sunday today is friday and i have been like on the freaking hunt it's like all i can think about any spare second i am just like looking at dogs looking at dogs and um we do have like i, I still want to call her my dog she's like our family dog my parents dog uh so like i guess i could call her like the family dog um i still feel like she's my dog even though she lives with my parents and I live here but like she's still my dog you know but like we have a chihuahua so we did get from a breeder and this time around I didn't really have a specific dog breed that I wanted I just wanted I'm just a small dog person is basically like my only requirements and I did want a puppy um just because i want to be able to like raise it from its like early stages i would like love to rescue an older dog but it's just not right for us right now so the dog that we're going to look at today is not a rescue um but i guess she's not really like a breeder um i think that they just kind of like had puppies and <laughs> um is selling them so yep we're gonna go look at her today and i figured i would vlog the experience um, i don't have to take her home um i'm just kind of like getting to meet her but if i do love her i can take her home and i'm kind of feeling like i don't know how can i hold like a little baby puppy and like not fall in love and take her home so i have been basically like preparing making sure i have everything for her just in case we do take her home 
Joey did give me a lot of stuff for my birthday, um, but I just went to the store last night and got like some like food bowls and stuff like that preparing for her. And um, I think I might like run to Target today and get a couple other stuff. I want to get like a baby gate to block off the stairs um, just until she learns stairs. And I'll probably get her her own little blanket. That wasn't something I thought about, but it's been colder outside and our house is a little bit chilly at night. And I feel like our house feels colder because everything is wood floors. So I want to make sure that I have everything so she's nice and cozy tonight if we have her. I'm so excited. She is um, a Chihuahua Yorkie mix. Her dad is a Yorkie and her mom is a Chihuahua. She is freaking so cute. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna take you guys along. Um, I'm going with my friend Stephanie. If you've seen like all my videos, then you know Stephanie. Um, she's my best friend. And um, obviously this was like not in the plan for today, but yesterday I was like, okay, I have an opportunity to like meet this pup tomorrow. Like, can we go? And of course she said yes, because she's the best. And um, I told her I wanted to film it just in case like we do end up bringing the dog home. I want our first moments on camera and to be able to like cherish forever. I have a lot of those like same moments with um, our other dog, Bella. And um, I really just like have pictures and then like videos of our car ride home. But would love like to get some good footage of us like meeting and hopefully, hopefully bonding. And um, yeah, so... <laughs> I will see you guys later. I right now am off to work, but I'm gonna stop at the ATM and get cash to buy her just in case and um, probably head to Target. So I'm thrilled. Like I said, today could potentially, I feel like the day you get a dog is like right one of the most important days of your life. If you're adding a member to your family. You're bringing in a new life into your world. So, I can't wait. So I really have to leave right now, but I will um, for sure see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is the next day. It is Saturday. So unfortunately, um, like I said, I was going to vlog me going to see the pup. Um, I unfortunately wasn't able to. Basically what happened is my friend took me to get massages for my birthday um, and our appointment was at 1.45 so let's just call it 2. It's our appointment, go till 3. We were going to have to take her parents to the airport so by the time we got out of there and got to her parents' house, we'll call it 3.45, get to the airport, we'll call it 4.30, come back from the airport, we'll call it... 5 30 um then go to where the dog was we'll call it 6 30 so it was just like getting pushed out and out now and, and um and that's i guess taking into account some traffic but um you know you never know how it's gonna be so basically what we decided to do is that my friend was just gonna go take her parents to the airport and i was just gonna go see the pup because I like couldn't bear to wait. Um, and obviously she had to take her parents to the airport. It's not like she can blow that off. So um, I ended up just going. My brother did come with me. I like didn't go meet a stranger by myself. It wasn't, it just wasn't like an easy thing to film. Um, so yeah, so we did get to meet, I got to meet the pup. My brother came and <laughs> Joey kind of just like, let me decide on my own if I was going to get her or not. <laughs> and um, we have our pup. We've named her Phoebe because friends, because I'm a friend's nut. So she is um, about 10 weeks. She's a uh, half Yorkie, half Chihuahua. Hi, baby. She weighs about two and a half pounds right now. You a sweet little girl? So we just brought her home last night. So today is like our first full day with her, but um, yeah, we had her all night and she was super good. She's kind of like the light of my life right now. She is a really good dog. She's very, very sweet, um, very cuddly. Like the little weirdos, okay. Sweet face. Hi, sweetie.
lady? You clinging on to my hair? Hi. Traffic must have been good. It was good. Like, when you said 350, I'm like, nah, not gonna happen. So like we left a little bit late and I'm like, oh crap. I know, it first. wasn't really bad. No. It's okay. Hi. Can we get see your face? <laughs> Oh, look at the tail. Look at your tail going again. 